It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Friday, March 10th. I'm James Spann. Those loud, gusty pre-dawn storms are gone. Quiet weather today, but more big changes for the weekend, including rain and maybe some snowflakes up in the Tennessee Valley. Wow. Must be March in Alabama. Here we go. Water vapor satellite view. We got troughing over the eastern states, and that pushed a surface boundary through early this morning with a big batch of rain and storms. Early this morning, that was the radar at 6.08. Uh, those storms were coming through Dothan, Enterprise, and Ozark. Made the trip all the way down through the state early this morning. But the northern half of the state is dry, and the day today will be dry. Temperatures are in the 50s this morning. We'll expect a high back in the 60s in most spots today. Cooler than yesterday, where we flirted with 80 in some locations. But up north, it is very cold. Canada, the northern states, and we're going to start to feel some of that air over the weekend. Up on the uh, watch warning map, uh, we're starting to see the Weather Service offices now issue freeze warnings because we're getting into mid-March and uh, a lot of folks are under them north of the state. And we will likely see a freeze in here by the middle part of next week. We are not done with them. Convective outlook today, maybe some thunder over South Alabama, obviously, early this morning, but uh, the northern half of the state will be dry. Tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe weather over parts of West Texas. But other than that, no severe weather problems, and we don't expect any severe weather here for the next seven days because we're getting into some stable, cool air. This is the rain for the next seven days, about one half inch, and the bulk of that's going to be tomorrow night. And look at that. This is from the National Digital Forecast Database. Weather Service offices forecasting one or two inches of snow from St. Louis down to Memphis, Nashville. Heavier snow for the mountains, the Great Smoky Mountains. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Townsend, they'll get some good snow there this weekend. And up in the Tennessee Valley, look at that. The weather That's coming straight from the Weather Service in Huntsville. They're forecasting about one-half inch of snow for those areas you see there, including Huntsville, Athens, the Shoals, Scottsboro, uh, early Sunday morning. It's not going to stay down long, but just be aware of that if you're traveling up in that zone or if you live there. Model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 06E run at noon today, troughing northeast of here. And again, we'll be in a, a fairly dry air mass, so partly to mostly sunny today with a high back in the 60s. Tomorrow, the wave begins to form to the west. We think the day tomorrow will be dry. Now, we start the day with sun. Clouds move in tomorrow afternoon. The high should be around 60. And we go wet tomorrow night. This is midnight tomorrow night, 12 a.m. Sunday. Here's a closer look. And yeah, we see that snow over northern Arkansas and Tennessee. And for us, just rain. This is Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. At that point, the rain should be tapering off. And again, that wintry mix kind of hugging the Alabama-Tennessee state line. And as you saw there from the Weather Service in Huntsville, there could be some light accumulation, especially along and north of the Tennessee River. And then by midday Sunday, the rain is out. Uh, we'll struggle to get out of the 40s. The latest guidance for Birmingham coming in with low 50s Sunday afternoon, way below average for mid-March. Maybe some clearing by mid to late afternoon. This is the snow output coming off the GFS. And again, you can see the swath of snow down through Tennessee. Heavier snow for the Great Smokies. And maybe a half inch for extreme North Alabama. Go to Monday. Here comes a clipper. Alberta clipper coming down the pike. A surface low south of St. Louis. This run is more vigorous. And in fact, Monday at 6 o'clock, this Monday evening at 6 o'clock, it's got rain moving in here all of a sudden. Other runs have been dry, but out of respect to this, we'll go ahead and stick in the chance of some rain uh, Monday afternoon and Monday night. Rain amount should be light. And then Tuesday, a pretty nasty-looking nor'easter cranks up. I mean, that is, uh, that's going to be very windy and very snowy for the northeastern states, including the big cities, New York City and Boston, if this verifies. Uh, it be a very interesting forecast challenge for our friends there. But for us, Tuesday, windy, cold, highs in the 40s. Maybe a few flurries Tuesday morning. Look at the anomalies on Tuesday, below average for much of the eastern two-thirds of the country. Wednesday, the surface high begins to build in. We go way below freezing. We'll be down in the mid-20s Wednesday morning. Colder pockets. I bet you somebody's going to see upper teens. And then Thursday, Thursday morning, I think we'll see a freeze. 
But we start to warm up during the day with a high around 60. And this is a week from today, a zonal flow rain to the west. We have seen other runs that bring rain in during the day Friday. So confidence out there is kind of low at this point. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday the 19th. A little trough to the west and again rain just west of here. But confidence out here is very low in a specific solution. And yeah, look at the numbers off the GFS. Middle of next week, highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. We always have these cold snaps in March. We know that. And then after that, we start to gradually warm up again. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, if we can, I'll crank out another video this afternoon. We'll be traveling to uh, Chicago. If not, certainly forecast notes. If you can, catch Megan Thomas this evening. She'll be filling in for me on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.